A small bed and breakfast in this area wound up with a big problem. Google, the largest internet search engine in the world, was listing the wrong information for the business, causing that owner to lose money left and right. She tried to fight it, but she couldn't get anywhere until she decided to get Marty to solve this modern day David and Goliath story. They sent it to the wrong address that Google had on there. The wrong address on an envelope, a simple problem for most, a crisis for Don Metz. I started to cry on the phone. I was losing customers hey. regularly. Regularly. Yes. Welcome to Don Metz's life's work, Ligonier's Colonial House Bed and Breakfast. We had four rooms when we started. The highest rated bed and breakfast in the region, facing what can be best described as an identity crisis. The address and the phone number, wrong. See for yourself her actual business address and phone number. Here, 231 West Main Street, Ligonier. Google had the address listed as 138 West Main. The phone numbers were also wrong. So the largest search engine in the world listed her incorrect address and phone number, wrong for two years. For those who say, who cares? Don says, you must not own a business or do business on the internet. The computer is now an imperative part of our business plan. If it looks like I'm over exaggerating, ask a friend of yours who has a business because I'm not. The problem is described as confounding on sites that give advice like four steps to take when Google Maps gets it wrong or another site that offers help what to do if the internet is wrong. For Don Metz, it was wrong for two years. Says she talked to Google nearly 20 times. Every person told me that the problem was going to be fixed. Frustrated, she called us. There was absolutely nothing else that I knew that was, it was, that was within my power to do. Once we got involved, we immediately reached out to Google and received an immediate response. Thanks for reaching out. We have enough information here to investigate the issue. I will let you know what we find. Within six hours, we received another message from Google. We have updated the map to reflect the correct address and phone number. The business is now showing with the correct information on desktop and in search results. Our own search shows the correct address and phone number for the Colonial House Ligonier. I think that calling you was a divine intervention. Her two-year battle fought and won by us in six hours fixed by Google in the middle of the night. I felt like the weight of the world was lifted off my shoulders because I thank you so much for helping me. Thank you for helping me. Well, Google apologized for the error, suggesting folks with a similar problem report changes either through Google My Business or by using Report a Problem. Both are found at the bottom right-hand corner of Google Maps. And it happens more frequently than you would think, and it's significant today because I Google everything. Right. Well, so how does it happen in the first place? How do they get the wrong address for her? Okay, so Google place? says uh, we get our information from third party providers, public sources, and user contributions, and they say occasional inaccuracies from any of these sources result in this problem. Well, you, you touched uh, really a good point here because we all use Google or some device such as Google, a search engine, to try to find something. And if it's wrong, we don't know that it's wrong. And that business owner is, is you know, suffer. Suffers. Yeah, Suffers. Yeah. yeah. And she lost it. money from it. Yeah. And She's happy tonight. I, I, I don't presume that, uh, I can't presume that Google's making any amends on this. No, no, but th they were wonderful. Honestly, I called them at 7 at night. It was done by midnight. They took care of business. Yeah. A lot of companies don't. Problem is, though, she called and couldn't get it done. Right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly. significant. Right. That's All right, Marty. Sometimes sure. you have to get Marty. And hey, if you have a problem and you would like Marty to solve it, email getmarty at kdka.com or call 412-575-2244.